So let's start with my autobiography. Who am I? I'm Javier Gonzalo Lucero. I'm 18 years old. I was born in January 16, 2002 in Mexico, Puebla. Uh, I'm the youngest child of a family of five. So I have two sisters and my two, par and my two parents. Uh, I live in a very heartwarming family. We always share moments together, share times. Uh, my family is very important to me. It's one of the things that I think that it's uh, most important in life, family. So uh, they're basically the base that I'm, of all my personality, all my way of living, it's my family. Uh, who am I? I'm a person that is always trying to go over his goals, uh, to reaching the best, to perfect uh, their skills. Uh, I, I love to travel, to draw. I, one of my favorite hobbies is to meet new people, to get to know people of very different cultures. Uh, I've had the chance of traveling a lot by myself. Uh, so I have a lot of friends from different parts of the world that they really uh, change me in a way, in a good way. So this is one of the things that I like the most, traveling, uh, because I, I think it has made me open my eyes to a real world that uh, we live in. So I think that this is really important to me and it has basically molded me in my, in my latest years in my life. And now one of my goals is to, to travel a lot more. So, yeah. Reaching Prepatec was uh, something really important to me because uh, I, I thought it was the, the hardest school in my, in my state in Puebla. And it was kind of like a, I consider myself a really productive, enthusiast, and constant, hardworking guy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm always trying to perfect my work. I'm always nonstop uh, studying, reading, doing my homework, learning by myself, my personal skills. I never give up. That's one of the things I that I think that represent me the most. I almost never give up. So I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends throughout the world. I have, and I, I think that they're really important in my life because they have made me the person who I am today. I, I, love, I love to learn. I love to spend time with my friends. I, these are some of the most important persons in my life right now. Uh, they are my friends, my best friends, and I, I don't know what I would do without them. They're really important in my life. So, so I think I am a very hardworking person. Like I said, and I think that's one of my best virtues that I always pursue my goals, that I never give up. Uh, I'm always uh, looking to reach my goals. But I, I think one of my defects are that I'm very impatient, that I really need to do things fast. And, and I think that's really one of my defects that I'm a patient. I'm also a little bit uh, not organized. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to talk about efficiencies that take part of my future. So uh, what I plan for my future is to live my dreams and trying to make my passion a way of living. Uh, I'm going to study digital art and animation and I would love to live making art. That's my dream. So the competences I chose for this project are uh, collaborative work and communication. So what I'm going to start in talking about is my, my work as working as team. Uh, this is one of the projects we made uh, two times in the high school. In high school, it's called Blue Carpet. Uh, we needed to make uh, a movie and talk about it and perform it, record it, edit it. And I think it was a really, really important project to me because it was one of the first times I worked with a whole team reaching a, a big goal, like a movie. Uh, I think it was a really big project. We ended up winning Best Soap Opera and it was really fun. I, I had a great time. I learned a lot of things you don't learn in, with normal team teamwork. And, and that, yeah, that's it. 
uh, one of the one of another biggest projects and things I've entered in high school is called Program Ambassadors. So what this program is, is basically to be the closest gap between students that are going to enter high school and the high school itself. So I think we, we, we work in the sales teams and we need to reach a certain goal of, of students that enter high school. So I think it, it is really one of the biggest projects I've been part of that it's really, really working as a team. So you can be individual there. So now what I'm going to talk about communication is still of the ambassadors program. Uh, in, in that program, I need to speak uh, in, front of, uh, in front of people to give my experience of what I've lived in high school. I think the most I have spoken in front of what, like 800 people. It was really, really cool. As you can see, there's pictures of me speaking. Um, I still have a lot of work to do with public speaking. With public speaking, I still get nervous, of course, but uh, I think I'm getting better with the time. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I don't know if this is going to count, but uh, uh, I sell brownies at school. So I think this is one of the most, if not the most, that has improved my communication skills. But why? <laughs> because the thing that uh, I think I've learned to be not afraid of the no and anymore. You know, I, I go and ask if you want a brownie and people tell me no. At the beginning, I always get like depressed and said like, ah, okay. But now it's, I, I'm over it. So I, I think it's really fun. It's one of the best things I've done in high school. Uh, so I think it really made me now the person who I am now selling brownies. It sounds dumb, but it, it, it is true. It's one of the biggest things that has improved my communication skills. So, so yeah. Let's say that I had to take the Lady Heights in Seattle game. Uh, ich habe viel gelernt in meinem Austausch, aber ich denke, das Leben mit einer amerikanischen Familie äh, was am besten. Ich lerne, dass unsere Kultur sind sehr gleich, sehr ungleich. Entschuldigung. Zum Beispiel die Essen, die persönliche Verzeihung, die Musik und die Lange. Aber ich habe viel Spaß. Throughout my high school, I've learned a lot of things. I've changed as a person. Uh, it is really hard to explain it just with what simple answer. I'm now a whole different person, of course, I think in a good way. Uh, I've learned to overpass my limits, to know what I'm capable of. I honestly feel proud of myself. I feel like I've reached uh, the goals I've set for my high school. I think it reflects that I'm a constant person and I'm a hardworking, that I'm always trying to reach something else and I'm always moving. So I see a lot of challenges in front of me, like feeling like finishing university, getting a job in maybe in a foreign country, uh, getting a visa to work in another country. I'm a hundred percent sure that I'm going to overcome these challenges and I'm going to try to do my best. So that's it. Thank you so much. And goodbye.